Yo, what is good, y'all? I'm back with another brand new video. I go by the name King Corday, your host with the most, your main man with the game plan, your fix for the kicks and all that good shit, man. And I now introduce y'all to the segment that I will be bringing to YouTube now, over from my IGTV series, Corday's Closet. Where I bring you the latest of my kicks, streetwear, accessory pickups, anything that I normally buy, I will be bringing over to YouTube and doing reviews on foot looks, on body looks, etc, etc. So go ahead y'all, kick back, relax, kick your feet up, grab some snacks, do whatever you do. Let's get it started, man. Gang. All right, y'all. All right. So as you can see right here, I got a nice little unboxing video for y'all today, man. I'm super excited about this pair because uh, this is my first of something and I've always wanted this first kind of something too. So I'm really excited to have them in hand. I can't wait to unbox them. And also guys, I got, I got a Got myself some uh, new cutlery, some new hardware, nice little box cutter, nice little gold box cutter. I found this on Amazon for 10 bucks, yo. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little uh, butterfly knife, as you can see. Let's go ahead and stop the chit chat and get to the unboxing, bro. A lot of you, if you are sneakerheads, you already know what type of box this is, man. Go ahead and show you the labeling. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you did not know, these are the Nike Dunk High Varsity Maze. So first and foremost, first thing, as you can see right here, the shoe comes with three sets of laces. As you can see, the mustard yellow laces that are already on the shoe. Also comes with a pair of black laces and a pair of white laces as well. I'm not a big fan of this mustard yellow on the shoe because um, it doesn't really bode well with the rest of the shoe. So I think I definitely will be swapping out the yellow, the mustard yellow laces for the black OG laces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a little well but let other than that let's review this shoe this is a super cool nike dunk i prefer dunk highs versus dunk lows i'm not really a fan of low top shoes i love high top shoes i love mid tops so i'm definitely glad to have this pair let's talk about the fabric on this shoe though so just from the feel of it right here around the mid stay of the shoe it has a very nice soft leather this black leather right here next to the Nike swoosh, very soft, very plush feeling. And then it has the standard coarse leather on the entirety of the rest of the shoe. As you can see, the little pull tab on the back of the shoe right here. Taking a look at the tongue, the tongue is made out of a nice mesh fabric. It has Nike with the swoosh sign on the tongue and yellow on the back. Has that standard Nike labeling. Taking look at the outsole of the shoe it comes in all over yellow and on the midsole of the shoe is made out of a very tough rubber texture now i'm excited to have this shoe in hand because this shoe kind of brings back a little nostalgia for me and my late 
high school years, early college years. I started coming into myself. I, I started discovering who I was as a person, my style and what type of shoes that I liked. I always wanted a pair of Nike Dunks. I, I just couldn't see myself in them at first. So I went to a different skating type of shoe. I rocked with Supras. I rocked with the Super Sky Tops. I had almost every color that you can imagine in the Super Sky Tops. I really loved them, but what made me stop wearing the super sky tops is that they're very flat footed they have no type of arch support they have no type of cushioning whatsoever and so i just couldn't wear them they became unwearable for me they started posing problems for my foot and i just had to get rid of them and so the super sky tops had to go but i still had a love for skateboarding shoes i always wanted a pair of dunks i never got the chance to own a pair i used to see kids in high school and in college wear dunks and I always thought that they looked really cool. And now I finally have a pair. And what a great first pair. So what's ironic about this shoe is that this shoe has a counterpart. And the counterpart is called the Wu-Tang Dunk. It looks very similar. The only discrepancy in the shoe, the only thing that is different is that it has a Wu-Tang sign right here near the, the midsole of the shoe. If you were to compare the shoes, they're pound for pound exactly the same. They're, they're exact replicas. I'm definitely going to swap out these mustard yellow laces for the black laces. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Now I get right back to y'all, man. All right, y'all, and we are back. Take a look at the shoes now. Swapped out the mustard yellow laces with the black laces and you cannot tell me that that is not a hell of a contrast it makes such a big difference it gives it more of that og look and i was able to score these on sneakers when they came out it was a pretty easy w i was fairly surprised by how easy it was to cop these shoes but uh i'm gonna stop doing all this talking i'm gonna go ahead and put them on foot so let's mix match them with the fit see how it hit i'll be right back y'all Alright y'all and we are back and I'm gonna leave y'all with my final impression on this shoe. I think it's a very well done shoe. It has lots of solid fabrics on it. It's constructed very nice. As you can see the toe box is really well done. It's not exactly the most comfortable shoe as dunks are not known to be comfortable because they are skateboarding shoes. But if I had to give it an overall rating, I would give this shoe a solid 7 out of 10. I really like it. I love the color scheme. Once again, the fabrics are very well done. I really like the way that it feels. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe, man. Leave your comments in the comments below. Let me know if you were able to cop this pair or not when it released on sneakers. Let me know what you think about the color scheme. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out y'all here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you showing love. I appreciate you watching my content. Appreciate you following me on social media, subbing to my channel, keeping up with me, and basically just supporting the growth of my channel and supporting the growth of me. And once again, I am King Corday, and this is the segment that is now referred to as Corday's Closet. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video, man. I appreciate it so much. It goes a very long way. It helps with the growth of my channel, helps my video get seen, by more and more people. Also, make sure you go to my page and you hit that subscribe button and you hit that bell notification so you can be the first to see whenever I drop a brand new video. Also, man, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram at King Corday. You can hit me up, DM me. You can keep in touch with me. That is where I'll be at outside of YouTube. You can follow my my day to day moves and you can see some of my fit picks and my shoe picks. And um, signing out, y'all. Peace.